Yogis, welcome back to Kara's living room, um, where we will be practicing yoga in my kitchen. Um, it's been a while. I would say it's been probably a couple weeks now. Uh, I have taken some time to go visit some family. And I've also taken up running, which has never really been a thing of mine, but uh, being outside now and getting fresh air while it's sunny has been extremely important to me during this pandemic. So I have been doing a lot of that and a lot less yoga. So I will be doing today's class, not only for you guys, but for myself as well. So we're gonna go really chill, uh, focus a lot on body openers, uh, do a bit more detox than I normally do, a lot of body twisting. Uh, if any of this gets to be a bit too intense for you and you just want to tone it down, meet in child's pose. Go down there. You can even hang out there the entire class if you'd like. Listen to the really soothing sound of my voice or you can follow along. I'll be going really easy, like I said. Uh, I would recommend maybe bringing some blocks over to your mat today if you want to bring some pillows, even bring a blanket. Uh, I have a ten tendency to bring pretty much everything to my mat because I never know when I'm going to need it. And today is going to be one of those days because, again, I have not been on my mat in a few weeks. So this should be exciting. Uh, go ahead, roll out your mat, get your stuff, grab a big bottle of water, and let's get started. Okay, yogis, let's get started. First things first, we are standing up at the top of our mat. Take a giant breath in, reach your arms up, palms meet high over your head, big side body stretch here. And then exhale, hands down towards the heart. Soften the shoulders, breathe in. Exhale, try to relax the muscles through the face. Separate the feet, turn the toes to face out. Breathe in, stand tall. Exhale, nice and slow. We'll be lowering our sit bones all the way down towards the ground. Now, if this is a bit too intense, go ahead, feel free to grab your prop, place it at any setting, and then just set it, settle your tailbone down on top. Now, if you do not need that prop, go ahead, just get that out to the side. You wanna bring your hands towards your heart and use the elbows to press your knees nice and wide. Grounding down through the heels, Rise up through the spine, lift everything out of the crown of your head and tuck the chin towards your chest. Close down the eyes. We're gonna be here for a few rounds of breath. Breathe it in and out. Elbows pressing those knees a bit wider. Inhale. Exhale nice and slow. One more. Open the eyes if they're closed. Plant the hands down in front of you. Inhale, slow, start to straighten those legs. Lift that sit bone up and then just heel toe the feet in towards one another, creating the number 11 with your feet. Inhale, halfway lift up, lengthen through the spine. Maybe bring your hands on top of your shins and then exhale, fold completely. Rocking a bit more weight here into the toes. If you need to have your legs bent, go ahead. Just try to bring the hips right over the heels here, either planting the hands down on the ground, maybe onto a prop, or you can go ahead and just let them dangle. Allowing the crown of the head to get really heavy as you pull your chin in towards the chest. Breath in. Breath out, heavy through the arms. Let's take two more here. Fold a bit deeper, last breath. And on your next inhale, slow, take your time. Use the entire breath in to unravel. Come all the way up to stand. Shoulders up towards the ears. Round them down your back. Open up through the chest. Palms facing out wide. Now 
Tongue in your grounding down through the feet. I want you to take your hands onto your hips. Stand extra tall. Draw the stomach muscles in and tuck your tailbone under. We'll be doing some calf raises here. So you're just lifting up onto the balls of the feet, lowering the heels heavy. Maybe lift the toes once you get here. Lift the heels, lower the heels, lift the toes up and down. We'll be taking about 15 to 20 rounds right here to start to get more mobility here through the toes and all the little joints down in your feet while we build muscle and tone those calves. So remember to keep breathing ujjayi breath here, nice and slow in through the nose, out through the nose. One more breath. All right, lower those heels. This time, toes go to face out, heels are in. So it's the exact same thing. This one may require a bit more balance. So if you've got a table or a wall you'd like to place your hand on, Go ahead, we'll just get started. Try to keep the legs nice and long here without bending the knees, just lift and lower. Now this one might be a bit more of a challenge too to lift those toes up when the heels get heavy. I invite you to try. Otherwise, just lift and lower the heels. Let's take two big breaths. All right, that was the last one. You're turning the toes now, face in towards one another. Heels go wide, same thing. Couple rounds of breath, move at your own pace. We're working the back of the calf and both sides. So you're probably starting to feel this right now. <laughs> Getting pretty warmed up through the legs. Last breath. Let's go ahead and shake that out, release the arms. Let's get nice and loose once again. Starting up at the top of the mat, hands come onto the hips. Breathe in, stand tall. Exhale, step your right foot all the way to the back of the mat and then spin towards the long side of your mat, bringing the toes to face in towards one another. Inhale, stand nice and tall. Exhale, slow, you'll hinge forward and stop once you get to a flat back. From here, breathe in, rock your weight towards the toes. Exhale, fold completely, keeping the hands on the hips here. I want you to draw your stomach muscles in. You should be able to feel that with your fingers. And then again, rocking the weight forward, chin towards the chest. Feel the stretch through the spine. I'm going all the way down through the IT band, the outsides of the legs into the feet. Keep breathing. This is a huge stretch here. You want to challenge your balance? Go ahead, maybe close down the eyes. Last breath. Nice and slow. Inhale, halfway lift up. Exhale, lift up the rest of the way. Ooh, that was a lot. Okay, this time, interlace the hands behind your low back bringing the palms together to touch. Keep your feet nice and wide, toes turning in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Now as you fold completely, the knuckles start to lift up over your head. Keep bringing the palms together to touch as much as you can. Rocking the weight into the toes, keeping the legs nice and long. And then just start to lift the kneecaps up so you're engaging the quads. Breath in. Breath out, fold a bit deeper. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze those stomach muscles in. You've got one more. First, inhale, slowly lower the knuckles to your low back first. Then release your arms nice and long, let them hang. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, bring your hands onto your hips. Lift up the rest of the way. Ooh, my legs felt that one. We're stepping those feet back and towards one another and shaking it out, release the arms. Everything goes loose. Bringing the feet in towards one another. So maybe the big toes are touching here, heels are wide, or just bringing them in nice and close. 
Inhale, stretch the arms up. Imagine you're holding a basketball between your palms. Exhale, sit down nice and low, coming into your chair pose. Tuck the tailbone under, and then lengthen up through the spine as you draw your navel in. Look up between your palms. Breath in. Breath out, come all the way down onto the mat, and then plant your palms down by your hips. Bring your shins up parallel towards the sky. Squeeze the thighs in towards one another, and then pull your chest up towards your knees. Inhale, get nice and long to hover. Exhale, bring it back up. Press down through those palms. Let's do that again. Inhale long. Exhale up. Two more times, you guys got this. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. All right. Release the legs all the way out to the front of the mat. And go ahead and lower yourself down onto your forearms. Palms spin to face down. Bring the legs in towards one another and then point the toes. Press down through the palms. Press into the forearms. Inhale. Engage the glutes. Lift the hips up and relax your gaze back behind you. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. One more breath here. Exhale all the way down. All right, pressing yourself back up. That was a big front body opener here. Flexing the feet now, pointing the toes. Flex, point, flex. Keep them flexed. Inhale, extend the arms nice and high. Exhale, fold forward. Grab for anything you can, whether it's the outsides of the feet, the ankles, or the calves. Wherever you are, inhale, lift your chest up, look forward. Exhale, nice and slow. You hinge forward, trying to bring the center of your chest down towards your kneecaps. Elbows are facing the mat. Breathe in, lift up. Exhale to fold. And gaze should be up towards your heels or your ankles. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale to fold. All right, staying here, three rounds of breath. If you'd like to go ahead, just release a little bit. You can release the grip of your hands. Maybe just fold over the thighs, maybe bringing your chin towards your chest, whatever feels good here, so that you can really open up the back body. Inhale nice and slow, stacking one vertebrae at a time as you roll back up. You'll crisscross the ankles. And then just plant your hands down on the ground and move yourself back into a tabletop position. Spread those fingers really wide and press down through the shins and the tops of the feet. Draw your navel up and in. You're in a neutral spine position. Inhale, lift your gaze up, drop your stomach muscles down, pull your shoulder blades back. Exhale into cat pose, bringing the spine up towards the sky, chin to chest. Again, inhale, lift it up and through. Exhale to round. Let's do that one more time, just because it feels good. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale to round. Exaggerate the arch here through your back. Really feel that stretch. And then nice and slow, come back to neutral. Let's tuck the toes under, press through the palms, lift those hips up and back, first down dog. Pedal out those legs, make sure your feet are about hip width distance apart. And then eventually trying to heavy the heels as much as you can while lifting the hips up and back. Chest moves towards the thighs, relax through the shoulders, and then start to bring your ears right in between your biceps as you bring your gaze either between your heels, knees, or belly button. It really just depends on how much of a stretch you want here through the spine. Two more breaths. Inhale, lift your gaze up, extend your right leg up and back, point those toes, keep the hips square. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up and back, bring it nice and high. Exhale, knee to nose. Look between the palms, step your right foot down in between your hands. Tap that left knee down, untuck those back toes. From here, inhale, reach your arms up, palms facing one another, hips are forward and down as you straighten out through the torso. Exhale, get a bit heavier here. 
One more breath in. And as you breathe out, the palms come down. Walk both hands to the inside of your right foot and then heel toe that right foot to the outer edge of your mat. Angle the toes to face off to the right side. Inhale, lift your chest up, keep your gaze forward. And then exhale, either staying here or maybe lowering down onto your forearms. Maybe you've got that prop. You wanna bring it down, maybe lower your forehead to it. Wherever you're going here, try to soften through that right hip joint. We'll take three more nice and slow breaths. Press yourself back up onto your palms if you're down on the forearms. And then heel toe that right foot back in towards the center of your mat so you can frame the foot. Tuck the back toes under, lift your back knee up. Root down through the palms and step back into your down dog, pedal the legs out. Oh, that felt good. It was intense, but it felt good. Hope you guys are still hanging out here with me. Let's go to the other side. Inhale, left leg reaches up, point those toes. Exhale, knee to nose. Slow, inhale, lift it. Exhale, knee to nose. Keep the core engaged. Look between the palms, step that left foot down. All right, right knee goes down towards the ground. Untuck those toes. Heel toe your left foot to the outer edge of your mat. Plant the palms, lift your chest, gaze is forward. If you lower down onto your forearms or a prop on the other side, see if you can do it again on this side. I know no two sides are equal, but we wanna to try to stretch them about the same amount if we can. If you come all the way down onto your forearms, go ahead, just relax your head. We've only got three breaths here. Trying to pull that left knee up in towards your left shoulder. Keep the core engaged. Last breath. Inhale, lift it up if you're down. And then heel toe that left foot right back into the center. Root down through the palms, spread those fingers, tuck your back toe, lift your back knee, step it back to down dog, pedal it out. All right, inhale, lift those heels high, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees a lot, and then go ahead and just tippy toe all the way up to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway, bring your hands onto your shins, draw those shoulders back. Exhale, release. Let's do that again. Inhale, halfway lift up, engage the core, rock your weight towards your toes. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, stretch it all the way up, arms go out nice and wide, meet those palms higher for your head. And then exhale, hands down towards the heart. Release the arms along your side body, palms face out, soften the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Trying to slow the heart rate down. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, pull your right knee up and towards your chest and flex your right foot. Take a deep breath in, get long, engage. Exhale, extend back through your right heel and then bring your arms along your side body into toppling tree. Palms are facing down towards your mat Pinkies are pulling in close to your side body. Keep extending back through that right heel. Maybe there's a small bend in your standing leg here and keep the core engaged. Let's take one deep breath in, reach those fingers back. Exhale, drop that back foot, come into a crescent lunge. So maybe you need to go ahead, wiggle it back just a bit further like I did. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, get a bit lower. Again, breath in. Breath out, nice and low. Let's take two more here, straighten out the spine. Maybe there's a little bend here in that back leg, kind of help you straighten out, even out. Last one. 
Breathe in, stretch the arms up, keep your legs where they are. Exhale, slow, lower that back knee all the way down to the earth, untuck the back toes. From here, hands go on top of your front thigh. Inhale, extend through the spine. Exhale, press those hips forward and down. Keep lifting the chest, tucking the chin. And you got one more here. Nice and big. All right, plant the hands down towards the ground. This time you'll take your left knee over towards your left wrist and heel toe your left ankle over towards your right wrist, setting yourself up for a half pigeon or king pigeon pose here. And it really doesn't matter if you pull your heel in close to your groin or if you would like it to be parallel towards the front of the mat. I do recommend if it is parallel to the front of the mat, flex your left foot. You wanna protect that knee joint. If your heel is close to your groin, just sit up nice and tall. And this really pretty much goes for everyone. Keep those hips square. Try to rock that right hip down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, start to walk the hands over towards the left side of your mat to the outside of your left thigh. Keep lifting up through the chest, rocking those shoulder blades back. Maybe you look over your left shoulder. Let's take two breaths here. Man, I really needed this stretch. I am feeling this everywhere. Let's carefully come back to center. Walk the hands towards the front. Plant the palms down. Tuck the back toes, lift that back knee, and carefully step your left foot back. Let's pedal it out. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, heavy those heels. We're staying here for three more breaths. So try to get as much out of this down dog as you can. If you're feeling like a down dog is just not it for you today, come down into that child pose. You're still getting a back body stretch. I just want you to feel something, even if you're resting. Another deep breath in. And last one. Inhale, lift those heels, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or tippy toe up towards the front of your mat. Toes together. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten out the spine, draw the stomach in. Exhale to let it go. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up, nice and long. And then exhale, pull your left knee up towards your chest or at least towards your midline and flex your left foot. Breathe in, get long, engage. Exhale, first you're coming into warrior three, then shift the arms back, toppling tree. Palms facing down, shoulder blades rolling back. Your whole chest is wide open here, like you're about to take flight. Take another deep breath in. And then exhale, bend that front leg, step it back, crescent lunge, arms go high. And then you're on the ball of that back foot while the heel is lifted completely. Keep reaching up. Maybe get a little bit lower through that front knee. Just make sure that the knee is not going in front of the toes. You want to stack your knee right on top of the ankle. Breath in. And out. You got one more, nice and strong. Exhale, left knee all the way down to the ground. Untuck those toes. Bring the palms on top of your front thigh. Inhale, get long. Exhale, press those hips forward and down. See if you can straighten out the arms. Keep the spine long. One more cycle of breath. All right, inhale, lift that chest up. Exhale, plant those palms down. We'll heel toe our right ankle over towards our left wrist while the right knee comes down towards the right wrist. So same thing here, guys. Inhale, lift it up, square those hips wherever you go with this. Make sure that the hips are level. Take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, the hands start to walk over to the right. 
Keep extending up away from the ground. Let's take one more. Inhale back up, front and center. Plant down through the palms, tuck that back toe, lift the back knee, and then move it back to your down dog. Pedal it out. Couple rounds of breath. Rooting down through the index finger and the thumb, most important here. Keeping the arms nice and straight. Inhale, lift your heels high, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, travel forward, whatever that is. Stepping or hopping. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, stretch it all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Relax, arms along the side body. Tadasana or mountain pose right up at the top of your mat. Let's do a Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, hands to heart and fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, plant those hands down, step it back to a high plank. Now I said we're going pretty easy today, guys. So I will not be pushing it, but please feel free. If you wanna do a full vinyasa, go for it. I will be lowering my knees, untucking my toes, and then nice and slow, lowering my chest and my chin at the exact same time. Inhale, press down through the tops of the feet into the palms. Lift the head and chest, lift the kneecaps, gazes down. Exhale, all the way down to the ground. Again, inhale, baby cobra. Feel the strength in your low back. And then exhale, release. Press yourself up on the hands and knees. Let's tuck those toes. Move back into our down dog. Three rounds of breath. Inhale, heels high, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, travel forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, stretch it high. Really big stretch. Exhale, hands down towards the heart and then release. Let's do one more of those and we're gonna add on to it. So a little bit more of a spinal stretch here. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, high plank. Stay here, engage the core, squeeze the glutes. Press the mat away from you. Try not to sink into the shoulders here. One more deep breath in. Exhale, knees down, chin and chest down. Baby cobra. Exhale, let it go. One more. And exhale. Pressing up into that tabletop. Pretty familiar pose now. Tuck the toes, down dog. Inhale, right leg goes high, point the toes, hips are square. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the right foot down in between your hands. And then go ahead, drop that back heel down. Inhale, stretch the arms high. Exhale to lower through that front thigh. Bring the hands back behind you, interlace the fingers, and start to pull those knuckles back towards your back heel. Inhale, open the chest, look up. Exhale, slow, fold down to the inside of your right thigh, lifting the knuckles nice and high. Breath in, and out. Two more. Inhale, lower the knuckles to your low back. Lift the chest up, extend the arms high. Now, 
shift so that the back heel lifts up nice and high and nice and slow, fold forward. Left hand to the inside of your right foot, right arm extends all the way up. Breath in and breath out. One more. Right hand goes down, step it back to down dog. Option to flow here or stay in down dog. I'll be taking a modified flow if you'd like to follow. Inhale, glide forward. Exhale, knees down, chin and chest down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, let it go. Press it up to table. Down dog. Inhale, left leg goes up right away. Point those toes. Exhale, knee to nose. Look between the hands, step it down and through. Drop the back heel. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, get low. Reach the hands back behind you, interlace those fingers, open the chest. Inhale, fold. Now keep rooting down through that back heel. Try to stay low through the front thigh, but try not to rest your weight on that front thigh. So you want your core to be doing a lot of the work here while you open. Take one more breath in and one more out. Inhale, lower the knuckles, lift the chest. Go ahead, lift the arms. Transition, lift that back heel high, crescent lunge, breath in. Breath out, hinge forward. Right hand to the inside of your left foot. Inhale, left arm goes high. Pull the stomach muscles in, feel the twist through the spine, reach up through that top hand. Last breath in. And then go ahead, release that hand down, step it back, down dog. Stay in down dog, come into child pose, or come into another variation of a flow here. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, slow all the way down to the ground. Three, two, and one. Untuck those toes. Walk the hands back to frame your rib cage. Press down through the tops of the feet. Lift the kneecaps. Press into the palms. Extend your chest up. Gaze is forward. Chin is down. Breathe it in. And out. One more. And lower. Press it up, hands and knees. You guessed it, down dog. <laughs> Hips go high. Pedal it out, do whatever feels good. You've got three rounds of breath. Inhale, heels go up, gaze goes forward. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale, stretch it high. Exhale, hands down, soften, relax. Close your eyes. Let's take three deep breaths together. Open the eyes, inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, bring the palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, stretch nice and tall. Exhale, sit low. Hips go down and back. Inhale, chest comes down, head reaches forward. Exhale, twist to the left, right elbow outside your left thigh. Keep those knees squeezing towards one another. Root down towards the heels. Press the palms in so you can get the center of your chest to line up with your thumbs. And then maybe if you've got the balance, you can look up over your left shoulder. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze that core. One more. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, twist to the other side. A lot of detox happening here. Try to see if you can get your head above your heart. Sit those hips a bit lower. Last two breaths.
Inhale, front and center. Exhale, you got it. Straighten those legs and fold. Ah, yes. Relief. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Let's step it back to high plank. Everybody deep breath in, roll forward. Exhale, nice and slow, all the way down to the ground. Coming completely flat on your chest. From here, arms go along the side body. And then palms spin to face down. Deep breath in, chin is on the ground. Exhale, press down through the palms and lift your chest. And then go ahead, lower your gaze down towards the front of the mat. A lot of back strengthening, a lot of deep breathing. Maybe close your eyes. Put a little bit more pressure through the tops of the feet. Engage the glutes. Just two more. Lift up a bit higher on this last one. And nice and slow, lower everything down. Right ear will come to the mat. You can just let your heels flop out to the sides. Maybe even spin your palms to face up if it feels good. And then just rock your hips from side to side. Finding a bit of stillness for these last two rounds of breath. And just switch ears. Looking over the right shoulder now. Feel the heart rate start to slow down. You take a deep breath in through your nose. Maybe sigh it out your mouth. You're here for one more breath. Chin comes back down towards the ground. Fingertops right underneath your shoulder blades. Keep the legs together and press yourself back into a closed knee child's pose. Forehead comes down towards the ground or a prop. And activate that child's pose right away. So lift the elbows away from the earth, reach the fingers forward and start to press down through the palms so you can push your hips back towards your heels. Finding more length here through the side body. Deep breath in and a breath out. Feel the pressure right here through the torso, creating compression right here on all those organs. Again, slowing everything down right before we start to move again. Don't worry, we're staying down on the mat though from now on. And just start to walk your hands back towards you as you come to sit up on your heels. Hands come on top of the thighs, breathe it in. And sigh it out. Lift your hips up, rooting down onto the shins. Bring your hands to your low back, fingers facing down. Elbows moving towards one another right behind you. Really open up that chest. Inhale, stay here, lengthen. Exhale, keep your chin tucked. Start to press into the hips as you open up through the chest and lean back. Again, inhale, lift it up a bit higher. Exhale, maybe you come back a bit further. Now, if it's in your practice and you'd like to go all the way down into your camel, you can go ahead and release the hands to the tops of the heels, and then you can release your gaze back behind you. If you choose this option, press your hips forward. Wherever you are, we're taking three rounds of breath, maybe close the eyes. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I really like to internalize my stretches. So closing my eyes helps me do that. Helps me focus on my breath. And it really helps me locate where I'm feeling this the most, rather than eyes darting all around the room. Carefully, if you're all the way down, bring your hands back to your hips and sit it up. Lower the hips down and just Scoot your hips all the way over to one side as you release the legs out in front. And we'll give the legs a bit of a shake here. And make sure your prop is close. 
you'll lower yourself down onto your back. And then setting yourself up for a restorative bridge pose. You'll walk your feet in close to your bum and then bring your arms along your side body, palms facing down. Maybe you can reach your heels or maybe you can't, but just try to pull them in as close as you can. Take a deep breath in, root down through the palms and the feet, lift your hips up, spin your inner thighs down. Now you're grabbing onto your prop and place it on a setting that you feel most comfortable with. I usually like to use the medium setting here. You've also got that super low setting. I don't recommend the highest setting because it's not always the most secure, but you guys have different props. You guys do what feels right for you. Just make sure that your tailbone is barely hanging off the edge and release your hands out to the side. Spin those palms to face up. Inhale. Exhale, relax the whole front body. And you've got quite a few variations here. You can stay with your legs bent. You can walk one leg out and take turns. Or you can release both legs long if you feel comfortable. But the idea is to Get as much of a stretch here through the psoas as you possibly can while remaining relaxed. If this is not relaxing for you, maybe your prop is a bit too high. You can always just grab a pillow or stack some blankets underneath you. And try to relax, feeling the shoulder blades get heavy down towards the ground. Chin moves towards the chest. And your whole body begins to settle. We'll be staying here for five more relaxing Ujjayi breaths. So if your mind starts thinking about anything other than what you're doing right now, think about your breath. Are you breathing all the way down into the low belly? Or is it more of a shallow breath that stops somewhere right up in the center of your chest? Can you deepen it? Get more of that blood cleansing, detoxifying effect happening. Last one. If your legs are out long, start to walk them back in carefully. Arms go back along the side body, palms down just to support the body. Lift those hips up and gently remove the prop out from underneath. Nice and slow, lower the spine and relax. And just take a moment here to neutralize everything that just happened. And when you're ready to move again, soles of the feet come in together. Knees will fall out wide like you're opening a book. And we'll bring our arms either wide out to the sides if you have the space. Maybe up over your head you can reach for opposite elbows. Sometimes I like to add a little bit more weight here to open up the hips a bit more. So placing my hands to the insides of my thighs helps. And just let it all go. And we're starting to wind down now. Just allowing gravity kind of take hold and do all the opening through your hips right now. Wherever your hands are, I'd like for you to move them into a goal post or 90 degree 
angled out to the side. Keeping your left leg exactly where it is, just start to close the book using your right leg, stacking the right knee right on top of the left, and then shifting your gaze over the right elbow. Now, if you do have a prop near you and you'd like to stack it between the knees, sometimes that helps. You won't be getting as much or as intense of a stretch right here through that right side body. And if you wanna go a bit deeper, you can always pull your knees up closer towards your chest or even wrap that top knee around the bottom knee. And try not to force anything. Listen to your body, not your ego. We're not in a competition here with ourselves. We're just trying to move in a way that makes our body feel extra good. We've got two reps on this side. When you're ready to move, you'll just reopen the book. The right knee comes all the way back out as you come back center on your mat. Knees wide, feet together. Inhale, neutralize. Exhale, left knee closes, stacks on top of the right. Gaze shifts over the left elbow. Give yourself a chance to land here. And then whatever variation you took on the other side, you can start to move. Last three. Open the book, left knee pulls away from the right. Back into your Supta Baddha Konasana. Neutralize the spine, inhale. And exhale. Using your hands, press the knees up towards one another, and then drawing the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a giant hug. You deserve it. You've earned it. Rock it out from side to side. Give yourself a nice little squeeze. Showing yourself some extra love right now. Appreciating your body for taking you through that entire practice. Because if you're anything like me, and you have not been on your mat in a little while, <laughs> that was a bit more intense than I expected. <laughs> nice and slow. Coming into our final pose. Shavasana. Separate the feet, bring the legs out long. Arms along the sides, palms up. Rock your shoulders underneath. And then just feel that opening through the chest as you tuck your chin down, close the eyes. Feel the weight of your head. Shoulders. Backs of your hands. Relax your breath. Feel the weight of your hips. Heels go soft as we start to come into this uh, restorative portion of your practice. I'd like for you to bring in some happy thoughts, breathe in a little bit of extra love for yourself. like the universe is giving you a giant hug and you're just here to receive. In return, sending love back out through the universe, healing, patience, your energy.
I hope this practice helped anyone who was looking for that much needed stretch today. <laughs> it definitely helped me. <laughs> Have a beautiful rest of your day today. Namaste.